So the combination study using PSMA targeted radionuclides. So we know that PSMA is a cell surface target. It may be targeted by either monoclonal antibodies or small molecules. There are different properties. Uh, quite simply, the antibodies are large and have a long circulation time, and the small molecules are small um, and rapidly diffuse to all the sites of PSMA expression. Uh, when we look at them in the, in the body, um, based upon where their side effect profiles are, you know, on a very high level simplistic point of view, the only areas where they both go are to the tumor. Um, so if we give a lower dose or, or even the same doses of each one, they should combine to have a higher um, targeting of, of cancer with less of some of the off-target effects. That's kind of a high-level clinical overview. Uh, there were a number of different preclinical pre experiments that were done. One that showed that the binding sites are different, so antibodies bind to a separate site than the small molecules, and when we put them together, they're non-competitive. So at least there's additive binding that is there. And then we did a series of preclinical um, xenograft models and saw some surprising results that the binding, or at least retention, is synergistic. So if we give um, antibody rated labeled with lutetium, small molecule rated with lutetium, we put them so separately, we saw just how much um, retention was there within the tumors. Uh, when we put them together, there was between 44 to 65% extra retention within the tumors. Um, and in looking at experiments to kind of figure that out, it looks like the antibody really helps the retention of the small molecules. So small molecules bind to PSMA are internalized, uh, then decoupled with PSMA, and these radiolabeled small molecules spit back out. So within a tumor, especially a, a soft tissue tumor that's large, it might be taken up in another cell, but in smaller tumors such as bone, uh, where the volume is smaller, higher surface area, that can just wash away. Uh, so that, that's at least the hypothesis. We also did some experience where alpha plus beta was better than um, either one alone. So overall, that led to a phase one clinical trial where we're enrolling men with metastatic castration-resistant prostate cancer, uh, previously treated, um, and receive an alpha radiolabeled antibody, actinium-225 um, radiolabeled DF501 antibody, plus uh, lutetium-177 radiolabeled small molecule, PSMA INT, also termed PNT-2002. Uh, and we're doing a dosal escalation study with that. Um, all we have is preliminary results so far in the first two cohorts. Uh, we haven't seen DLTs, but they're still in the follow-up period, and uh, we're looking to expand. So the preliminary uh, that we have so far is, is safety. So they're, so far, it's safe. We haven't hit DLTs. Um, the the follow-up data is also short, so the majority do have some PSA declines. Um, we have four patients that have um, quantifiable circulating tumor cell count before and after, and three out of four converted to either favorable or undetectable. Um, but overall, very preliminary.